Hello everyone and welcome to SE Geek, the internet's most passionate software engineering show. I am your host, the Software Engineering Geek, and this show we're going to be talking about Git cherry picking. So sit back and let the knowledge flow in because SE Geek begins now. Okay, in this video we're going to be talking about Git cherry picking. Um, what Git cherry picking is, is say you have one branch where you've done some test work, but you only want to pull you know, one or two commits from that. You don't really want to merge. You just want to pull like one commit or something. You can do that You doing Git cherry pick. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to, on my test uh, branch I'm going to actually do a let's see I have from the last video I have this oops gets I have this one outstanding change I have that untracked file oh yeah cuz I can't reset an untracked file so I'm just going to remove this test to file and I'm just going to do a get GUI and I'm going to make this one commit and commit to cherry pick. Obviously, you want better commit messages than that, but you know, just for the sake of our demonstration, and we're going to go over to um, we're going to get checkout master. So. I wanted to pull just that one commit, but oh uh, man, I don't know what that commit Shaw is offhand. So what I could do is I could do a get K and we could do um test just for that branch. And here's the Shaw of that particular file. So what I'm gonna do is just go over here, create temporary place so I don't lose this from the clipboard because when you close get K here that's gone so now what I can do is get cherry dash pick and I can paste that Shaw I hit enter and merge is no because ah, that would cause a merge conflict so say merge oh did I pick the wrong and get K test I think I might have gotten the wrong uh, commit message I think I got that one let's get the right commit commit Shaw Yes, that's I Yeah, you can't cherry pick um a commit that is a merge. It doesn't it doesn't like like uh allowing you to do that. So we're just going to go out here and try that again with the right Shaw. Make sure you have the right Shaw before you do a cherry pick. Um so now we're going to do a get cherry pick of that and it did that change so now if we do get K on master we can see it has the commit from that Shaw which has our changes now one thing you will notice about this is because it is you know on a different branch it will now have a different Shaw but it's one way for you to merge changes from like a test branch to a main branch if you only want to take a few commits you don't want to actually merge in so it's kinda of like a you know I'm just merging in selectively a few things that have changed I'm not gonna merge in the whole thing now with this when you do a cherry pick you can get merge conflicts just like with any other type of merge so you know just be aware of that and you'll have to deal with that accordingly uh, and because you're doing a get cherry pick, 
uh, you'll have to actually do the merge commit on the branch that you're merging to, unfortunately. But that skit cherry pick can be very useful for just, you know, porting over little changes from one branch to another. And that's pretty much all for Git Cherry Pick.